After sampling Portland's extensive pub scene, my palate turned its attention to Oregon's other half, Vino. We drove 25 miles southwest to Newburgh to go wine tasting, but got a bit sidetracked. Oh, really? let's, let's go up this way, though. Okay. Out of the I had no idea what alpacas were, so stumbling upon this alpaca breeding farm was a real treat. Steve, the manager, was kind enough to let us get a closer look. If oh, that, that, one's, will do. that one's feeding. <laughs> Baby alpacas are usually born in the morning and weigh around 17 pounds at birth. Steve also tells us that the gestation period is 11 and a half months. Nine is bad enough. <laughs> so then, then what happens is that uh, when they have the baby, wait about 14 to 21 days, we rebreed them. Mm -hmm. And then she'll keep her existing baby on her for six months while the other baby's growing. And six months, we mm -hmm. take them off and wean them. That one's staring at me. I don't think it should. Let's just try to go a little more into the baby. I might have to chase one. <laughs> <laughs> what, we'll do, what we'll do is we'll run them into the barn and we'll get you with them. Okay. After a few failed attempts at petting them, it was decided that we'd have better luck if we herded the alpacas into the barn. Ow! Ow! Ah, I'm chasing the alpacas! <laughs> Where am I chasing them? Hold on, stay here. Hold <laughs> <laughs> on, man, let's get them all going to that barn. I think it's pretty obvious that I've never done this before. I mean, when in my life would I ever have had to herd alpacas? Or anything for that matter. <laughs> it's a girl. It's a girl. And so this is about, she's about 18? Yeah, yeah, 18 And um, she's really nice. And what happens is alpacas are raised for their fiber primarily. Oh, okay. And you see how it's really corkscrewy? Yeah. That's what we want. The corkscrew one means that it's going to be a, have high elasticity when it grows up. Mm -hmm. And so if you make a garment out of it, um, yeah. it's really soft and you can wear it next to your skin. And, <laughs> and it has good stretch part. Stress properties. So why alpacas as opposed to sheep? Because the, the if you've worn a wool sweater uh, next to your skin, uh -huh. it's itchy, right? Yeah, yeah. The alpaca fiber is, is a lot longer, uh -huh. meaning there's a lot less prickly ends. Uh -huh. So when you wear it next to yourself, uh -huh. you know, you're not stabbing yourself with that little wool. And so alpaca garments can be made to wear next to the skin. And they're a lot thinner. Uh -huh. They have the same heat properties as wool. Yeah. But instead of a thick wool sweater, you can have a nice thin alpaca sweater. Um, is there a specific color that's preferable? You know, people have different flavors. We like white uh -huh. um, because you can just do more from white. We learned that white alpaca fibers are finer than other colors and so make for higher quality garments. But as Steve tells us, colors are hard to duplicate. If a mother alpaca has a white coat, it's still not a guarantee that her babies will have the same. These are really pretty. So these are all um, made from the alpaca fibers. It's nice. It's really soft. It's a lot sure. softer. Than After convincing my cousin Marianne that Choose Your Own Journey couldn't possibly go on without the host wearing an alpaca fiber scarf, we looked around a little bit longer and then said goodbye to our alpaca friends. <laughs>